everyone! Welcome back to my channel and for today's video, it's going to be a get the look video. I'm going to show you how to get Veronica Lodge's look from the series Riverdale. So if you want to know how to get her look, just keep on watching. Of course, I'll be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion for my eyelids. To set that, I'll be using this shade from the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche. So since Veronica has this smoky mop eye makeup, I'll be using the Wet n Wild All Natural Palette in Nude Awakening. With a fluffy blending brush, so I'll be taking shade number 7, I'll be applying that on my outer corners with circular motions. And then some windswiper motions just to create that transition. Now for base, I'm just taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush and taking shade number 6 from the palette. I'll apply that on other half. Now I'm just going back to my blending brush and I'll be blending the two eyeshadows together. And right now, that's it for the eye makeup. So to prime my face, I'll be using the Benefit Professional Primer. Since Veronica has a light, fair skin and I don't, just taking the lightest shade on my foundation collection. And, and that's the Alme Age Essentials Multi-Benefit Anti-Aging Foundation. And I'm just using this side of my Real Technique sponge to blend that in. Veronica has that really chiseled look, so for today, I'll be contouring my face. I'll be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick in Call Me Maple. I'll be applying that on my jawline, and then on my temples, and right here. And of course, the nose as well. To highlight and conceal, I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light. Now I'll just be blending that with Real Technique Sponge. For the concealer, I'll be using this tip and for the contour, I'll be using this tip. For powder, I'll be using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent. And I'll be applying the powder on concealed areas. for five minutes and while I'm baking my face I'm going to do now do my brows so Veronica has that really arch on sleek eyebrows so for today I'll be using the Anastasia brow list in medium brown so first I'm gonna just go into comb my brows that arch now I'm using the pencil side and I'm going to draw a short line find that arch. So you don't really want to get that look na it looks like it got drawn on your face. I just defined like the shape. I'm going to go back to my spoolie and comb that through so that it doesn't look too drawn. Now I'm done with my brows. I'm going to just brush off the excess powder from baking and I'll use that to set my entire face. So now I'm just taking a fluffy powder brush and I'm just gonna brush that off. To set my contour, I'll be using the Wet n Wild Contour Brush. Again, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche. So I'll just be using this shade right here. Of, um, color as well. So I'm just taking this blush from Pacifica in the shade Wild Rose and I'm taking a fluffy blush brush and I'll just be focusing that on the apples of my cheek. Now I'll just be finishing the eye makeup. Back to my blending brush with that mauve color and I'm just going to redefine my outer corners. 
Now I'm taking a small concealer brush. I'll be using shade number one from the same palette and I'll use that to highlight my brow bone. Now I'm just taking the NYX Skinny Black Liner to tight line my eyes. Veronica has that winged eyeliner to finish off her total eye makeup. So for that, I'm just using the Stella Stay All Day Waterproof Black Eyeliner. a smudge brush and I'll be using that to apply this black shade from the palette on my lower lash line. I mean outer one fourth. Now I'll just apply this brow shaping clear gel from Milani to finish up the eyes now I'll be curling my lashes and applying mascara. For this look I'll be using the Lancome Hypnos Drama mascara. also has that mauve color so it's like a dark berry. The closest lip shade that I think I have in my collection is from Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Last Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in Berry Recognize. So here is the finished makeup look. I'll be sure to put the links of the products down in the description bar. And if you like this look, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!